Hey guys, thanks for cooking with Tammy. Today I'm going to show you how to make an Italian style chicken parmesan. So with that being said guys, let's get started. The ingredients that we're going to need are about one cup of your favorite pasta sauce, as well as half a cup of mozzarella cheese, about a quarter cup of parmesan grated cheese, salt and ground black pepper to taste, a pound of chicken breast, one fourth cup of flour, about a cup of breadcrumbs, and one large egg. Taking the clean chicken, I place plastic wrap on top of the chicken and using a mallet, I'm going to pound the chicken to flatten the chicken breast. Before adding a pinch of salt and ground black pepper to taste. After the chicken is fully seasoned, I'm going to whisk the egg and set it aside. I'm going to take the chicken breast and dredge it into the flour lightly before placing it into the egg wash. Once finished, I'm going to coat the chicken breast with the breadcrumbs. I'm going to repeat the process for coating all of the chicken. Now that the chicken breast has been coated and breaded, I'm going to turn on my skillet on low medium heat, adding about three to four tablespoons of olive oil. I'm going to allow the oil to heat up before adding the chicken to the skillet. Placing the chicken breast into the skillet, I'm going to allow the chicken to brown before flipping it over onto the other side. Flipping the chicken over, I'm going to allow it to brown on the other side as well. Okay guys, now that the chicken breast has browned on both sides, I'm going to top the chicken with my favorite pasta sauce, followed by mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese. Even though it looks ready to eat at this point guys, it's not. So I'm going to place it into my 350 degree Fahrenheit oven and allow it to bake for 12 to 15 minutes to assure that the chicken is cooked all the way through and the cheese becomes melted. While the chicken is in the oven, I'm going to strain my pasta. And if you guys decide that you want to serve your chicken parmesan with pasta as well, be sure to follow the instructions on the box. As you can see, I'm straining my pasta and I'm also adding a little cold water to the pasta to stop the cooking process. This part is totally optional, but adding a little olive oil to the pasta would prevent it from sticking together. Using a pair of thongs, distribute the olive oil throughout the pasta evenly. It's now time for the grand finale. A chicken parmesan is finished baking and it's now time to put everything together. Starting with the pasta sauce, I'm going to place it in my plate. And taking the pasta, I'm going to place it on top of the sauce before placing the chicken parmesan on top of the pasta. Now that my chicken parmesan has been plated, I'm going to add extra parmesan cheese and garnish with dry oregano and parsley. As you can see, the cheese is fully melted and it looks absolutely delicious. As always guys, thanks for cooking with Tammy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, rate, and comment. And most of all guys, enjoy. Enjoy.